Hey, so today I want to show you a great new system that we built to save a lot of time, money and effort and also bandwidth and disk space uh, and I think it can do the same for you. Um, if you're like me and you're finding yourself uh, updating several sites on a regular basis, either you're doing this yourself or you're paying someone to do it and um, you know how long of a process it is to uh, get different images, save them to your computer, rename them upload them to different websites. You have to log into the different websites or connect to the FTP. And then you have to keep track of all, of all the different pages where you got the images because you want to give them credit uh, when you add the images to your site, right? You want to give them a link. So you have to do all this. So you know how long the process it is to actually right click on all the images and grab them. And uh, if you're like me, you also look for different solutions to save time. There's a lot of different uh, bulk image grabbers out there, but they don't really do a really good job. You just basically grab all the images, including some that you don't really want to grab. And then you're still uh, finding yourself having to rename them, and then uh, you still have to log in to different websites and add them to the galleries. So that's why we built this system, because uh, we needed something that did uh, everything we needed so it would save the most, uh, most time. And by, by using this system, we're actually saving a ton of time. Um, actually, it's pretty close to uh, around 92% of the, uh, the time that it was taking us before. So instead of just sitting here and uh, explaining to you why uh, this, set, this system is so great and all the advantages, I thought it would be best to just uh, give you a demonstration of uh, what the process looks from A to Z to add a bunch of different images to uh, sample WordPress uh, gallery using the next-gen uh, gallery plugin. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to show you how, uh, how it looks like. And while I'm doing this, try to imagine in your head how long it would take you to do this manually, the actual grabbing of the images manually, and then renaming them and adding them to a gallery like this. So let, let, let's see what it looks like. I selected some uh, websites here just to, so I can show you what it looks like. Let's say I want to grab some images from this website here. And uh, so what I do, I just click image finder here. Come here in my image finder plugin. And the system should be loading uh, all the images from that web page. Okay, so once it loads, you uh, you can either check all the images, or if you just want to grab a few good ones, you can do that. So let me just do that. Grab a bunch of images that I'd like to have. And uh, before I started this video, I also had some other images in the queue. And, uh, should give you some idea. So if I want to upload them right away, I could click upload, or if I want to queue them and add some more images before they upload, I just click this button here and it queues them. And then I can go another, on another website and I can grab some more images. Okay, and I can just select the images that I want. I could also check all to save time if you want to grab all the images. Sometimes it's easier to do that. Imagine how much time it would take to actually save these images to my computer manually, rename them, keep track of all the different URLs, like I said, uh, so it could be a full. It's a big, uh, long time consuming process, but not with this system. doing here is just the same thing basically I'm just grabbing some more images from a third website just to show you uh, how quick the process is actually Alright, so once I'm satisfied that I uh, grab 
images that I want. I click Q one more time to add them to the pending queue. And once I'm ready to upload all the images that are currently in the queue, what you do is just click pending. And here we see all the images that I currently have uh, waiting in the queue to, to be uploaded. I'll just let the page load here because there's several images. So imagine how long it would take to actually grab all these images. And then what I do is I can select a destination. And the great thing about the system is you install it once, you configure it once, and you can have as many destinations as you want from one central location. So you don't no longer have to uh, worry about connecting to different FTPs or logging in different websites. You can update as many websites as you want from one central location. So for this demonstration, I'm just going to select the uh, local blog that I have here. And uh, when you're using the NextGen Gallery plugin, which is a free plugin for WordPress. Um, the system automatically detects all the galleries that you have configured. So that's actually another big time saver right there. And uh, let's just take a look at of all the options that I can do here. These are the global options. You can also set specific options uh, below here. But uh, this, this will include the source URL from where all the images came from. So I don't have to uh, keep track of that. And I can set some global uh, configuration here. Let's take a look. And the description image SEO description. And I can give a, a prefix for uh, for the files. It will automatically rename the files to all of that, and that's great also for SEO. And I just click upload images, and the system is automatically going to upload, rename, include the source, include the description, include the tags, and um, yeah, all that, all that basically done for me. I'm just going to let the page fully load here. Alright, so that's basically it. If you can see here, uh, the gallery was empty before I started. If I refresh the page, all the images that I just uploaded should be added automatically to the gallery. And there you go, an instant big gallery of two pages and, you know that's that's with me uh, guiding you through but once you get used to uh, using the system and you know you don't have a video recording like i do uh, you can imagine how quick it is to actually use the system and you can see the, the global titles that i put appearing here and the description and the source url where the image was taken how great is that? I hope you're, you're excited as I am about this system because it's saving me a lot of time. And I think it can save you a lot of time also. So, alright, thank you. Enjoy.